All right, so let me share my screen now, and we will continue what we learned last week. So, do you guys still remember the complexity we talked about? The concept, right? So why it is important? So let me let me switch there. Why it is so important? All right, I promise you that I will. Glad you to go to do uh, your problem solving. So this actually is we have to have most of the concepts that there most of the concepts that are there the complexity is one can skip this not a on the bomb because it's a really big so so that is So you see here, so if you if you are using the complexity like a, this level, okay, then um, when you look at the problem, the number cannot be larger than 10. If it's larger than 10, uh, that means your, your solution will not work at all. It will not work. Okay, so you see, if we is, is in this complexity, the n number cannot be larger than twenty. Okay, so we say, we already said even n square. This one n square. N square is not. Okay. If if the complexity is really one. Oh you see this one. That is a very big a very big number, okay? If you just go in, okay, that's what you mean here. The mean comes. And in the context, I mean, the kind of the And it's how much is that? I think a million is like a seven, yeah. six zeros, right? Yeah. A million is like a million. So that means like it's a million, okay? You know, you need this type of thing. So you see, if you have a complexity of one, you need to get into that level, then you can get the problem solved. Or you cannot. Um log in and um the square root of n n times square root of n. So that that's also very impossible. So this chart, 
I really want you to keep in you 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 really want to keep in um, your mind is that once you see a number, it can go to like a one million. What kind of code you need to write? What kind of code you can write? You write one loop. That's O N. One loop. O N. Next another loop. Right. So you get the good idea, right? This pretty much gives you an impression that uh, what kind of what kind of use the algorithm you should use. Okay. All right. So are you good on this? I mean you get what I said? Yeah. Okay. So look, you're good. So we can move on. Stephanie, you're good, right? So pretty much you're thinking, okay, in the competition, if I say big number, uh, I really wanted to watch my algorithm. All right, so let me move to the next slide. I hope I can use uh, less time to talk about this. Because we already know that what is the uh, final research, okay? So actually, when I talk about not as a that is Okay, so let's see what is a jump search. Okay, what is a jump search? Let's just learn that. Jump search, as indicated by its name, is a search that jumps in the interval on a sorted area. Binary research that has been has been has to be done on a sorted area. So jump search, same thing. The search will search for fewer items. Okay, binary research, no matter what, you cut it into half. You didn't cut it into half. But a jump search will not. You will, this is an example. For example, suppose we have an area of size n and a block to be jumped the size of m. Then we search at the index 0, m, 2m, km. Okay. That is a jump search. And so on. Once we find the interval, this okay. We perform a linear search operation from the index km to find the element x. Do you get get what it said here? So let's say I have one thousand numbers. Then make the m equal to one hundred. Then I need to do how many jumps? In jumps, right? So if we do binary, you cut it into half. So every time you see the first time you cut. You cut it. Well, you guys should see this like a you, you cycle the class. So the cycle is coming over there. Okay. 
，对，那个你可能那个七点。And the kind research, but you can see the M figure now. Figure now. Okay. Because if it is big here, then you can come back to the linear search. So it will help you. So once this is repeatable, that's in the linear search, you can also do a better research. Once it is introduced, because linear search one goes through them one by one. But this another algorithm is called a jump search. Okay. Jump search is the optimal block size to be skipped. So this is more important, okay? Look at this. How can you set the size of the block? That means how can you find the best interval? That's what you are looking for. So that's another algorithm you wanted to come up. Okay. So in the worst case, we have to do n divided by m jumps. Okay. And if the last checked value is greater than the element to be searched for, we perform an m minus one comparison more for linear search. Okay. Therefore, the total number of comparison in the worst case will be m divided by m plus m minus one. So how many how many searches you need to do? How many searches you need to do? So we can. This is already a theory in the mathematics. The first thing is that the computer is M-value. M-value is the answer square root. With this, with this formula, you want to do this. The minimum number you can get, then that's the value. That's the only value you can get. So that's the that's the mature and then the Second. If you wanted to get the minimum value of it, you need to get m equal to the square root of n. Okay, so so once you have that in your mind, okay, so then the time.
Owning wants. The family of the marriage by after a lot of things. Huh? Sometimes the banner says you need to jump this many times. So when you do a smaller value, um, the search, then the jump search will be better. All right. So that's a complex search. Um, I do have one. Let me come back to this one for coding. Let me come back. Uh, I really wanted to do more. Um, Lucky chain first. Okay. In preparation. So, the benefit of all of this is methods in different locations. And put into the benefit, you know, is treat everything equal. It is just cut it into half and then cut it into half to do that. But that's not the smartest way. So how can we improve that? So we do that. So it will be the value of the so if you can compare okay so when you start you have the the smallest value and the largest okay and then Right. If you do that, then you want to be preparation. You do want to have it in half of the moon. You really want to be in preparation you know, method to do it. So how how can we do it? So this is another algorithm. Into the 
Okay. Plus. Yeah, it's not in your system, so it is a solution, right? Okay. Times the high minus lowest at the range of all the values. Okay. The highest value minus. So you times this one. And then you value by this index. Okay. So the high. Minus the lower. Why is it wait? That's a mass method. So when you're going to make too much, but this will be the idea. Remember, it's the starting index. I say index. So it is okay. So this is so that is the value. So we will check which side is it is more true. This is the value of one. So that way you will quickly find the the range you what you are going to search for. And So that means wherever you want to do that research, you can apply in population to save more time. Then you just need to be You're trying to never done. Never done. So this will turn here. It will be much closer to the value of the people. So this is the order in population search. So this formula will position the start of the search in a good position because the data is uniformly distributed. So it avoids the unnecessary steps in the binary search. So the steps involved are shown in the next slide. So let me just show you. So what it, does it mean? Step one in the loop. Calculate the value of position using the um, formula. Okay. If it is a match, return the index of this item and exit. If it's not, if the item is less than uh, that value, 
calculate the proper position of the left sub area. Otherwise, calculate the same in the right sub area. Okay. So step four, repeat until a match is found or a sub area reduced to zero. So these steps actually is very, very, very similar to a binary search. A binary search. But binary search, you calculate the middle value. The middle value of the index. And here you use the this position. The interpolation formula to do that. Okay. So let me say uh, this is Java. Let me go to the Python code. So this is the Python code for it. So Um, I'm not sure if you, if this is clear to to you to you all. We learn the two more search algorithm. One is jump search. We said jump search is better than linear search. It's not overall. It's not necessarily better than a binary search, but sometimes, sometimes it's better than manual binary search. Uh, because it, the problem is that it starts from the left. Okay. It starts from the left. So that's why uh, if the number is smaller, then uh, it has its advantage when you do the jump. So the jump, the key is to get the plot value or the interval value. The interval value is the square root of the n number, n. Okay. So the interpolation search is better than the binary search because uh, it can uh, interpret a value for the lower bound for the lower bound. Okay. The interpret interpreted value for the lower bound, so it can uh, smartly to cut your steps. So you do not have to stick it like in the binary. If you cut it into half, you can cut it more. You can cut it more. Okay. So why this? The flight or the distribution of this figure. Let's give you an example. If uh, you have any number that is like one, seven, eight, nine, right? So this number is not even a good one. This is more intensive. So that's why the formula
That's a two very advanced jump search in tabulation search. So in, tabu in, in tabulation search, you need to find the formula. That's the mathematical why you need to do. Not What so Evan does this to make sense to you? The two new algorithms, jump search and the interpolation search. I think so. So you have any question? Not really. Okay, not ready. All right. So let's do a uh, real problem. Um, this does not mean that you have to use binary search or interpolation or jump search, but I want you to read this problem and uh, come up with the solution or, or you know, your idea about the solution. So let me share this screen and let me also put it into here. All right, so this is the problem. Read this problem and think about that. Think about your solution.
So let me scroll down. Have you finished reading the problem? You finished reading, right? But let's just come back to see. You see here is a very big number. That means you even cannot use a linear search to do it, a linear method to do it. So then let me go back to our slide. You see if you use O, Okay, biggest number is out of six. Not ten means out of the one. You need to have a so better than the linear search linear method. Okay. So you have that's why you think. Really, there are many things really not that critical. Mm -hmm. But you can solve it. That would be good. That would be good. But if you go to server and you see, you you will see. Okay, this may be something. Uh, I cannot uh, just go loop it from uh, zero to n. Because n could be tens or as wide. You have to find a, a, a optimal solution than that. Right. 
So I'd give you like a, about five minutes to think about that. And we will come back about the time. Five minutes.
good in that year. I'm not very comfortable. What does it mean on this? How much you you owe, right? How many cars you owe? Think of the number you said. How many beers you have? There's a minimum of all these things. And then you can count the number of all your the options that you have. And the I mean, do you think do you think it's uh, I want to This part of the world is a very big number. Even then, what is the meaning of the With just no way. Have you used that? You also use a man to run out of time. You run out of time. And then how can I solve this problem? What is the what is the exact problem? Do we get an idea? So I do you get an idea what exactly is the problem now? Let me check if we are still here. Yeah. Okay. So you get an idea or you want me to have uh, I have uh, sort of an idea. Okay, can you can you talk about this sort of your idea? Uh, so my idea is basically, uh, to like run uh a loop. To find the uh, X based on the 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 like M gallons of milk each day, and uh, if like it's able to satisfy, then it would return a uh, X. What? So, do you have an idea? Oh, 
how do we how do we tackle this problem? Uh, look, uh, seven. Okay, so let's do that. So, uh, this is the problem for our Okay. What is the problem that we the minimum unit of pay is A, right? A is the That's the maximum case you can do, right? Because you What do we actually need to do? Okay. We will go into this number. So the n divided by m and the k we go the bigger one. We go into the bigger one. Okay. Because the bigger one will give you more choices. If you go to the smaller one, then maybe you know you will miss something there. You will miss something. So it's the k So, from the time I do, I'm going to go to the next one by one. the next one. So, let's go. Okay, this is speculation. You're correct with the materials. You just do that. Then you're correct. Right? Okay. Everyone, you cannot. Thank 
less than the minimum value. If you do this, if you get a minimum value, this is get a more right. Awesome. And this is sort of what it is. So that means it was satisfying this one. Okay, in the by in. So do you understand this this example here? Do you understand that? How this works. And why you can read me? If you use three, okay, let's come back here. If you use three here, you can see right. yeah. three, but three minus something. So you you can only say you don't. Mm -hmm. The first thing you need to clear five times. So that's the first thing. Ten minus zero, minus zero, Eleven one, but good enough. And you use the three to do that. Okay. And it's the maximum you can you can do that with and the less is the most of the space that's the minimum. Okay. Okay. Well, so kind of which factor you want to cover? Um, so what are the things this is how it's done. 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 This is
quando ho conceduto la faccia ho As you are fixing this, you manage to divide the lights. What? Um, the time is up. And go back um, to think about this problem and then what the code for that. Um, you cannot use a linear, linear search to do it. A linear, like an algorithm to do it, but a linear, it will not satisfy because this number is too big. Okay. All right. So that's what I have. Um, any question, Evan? Do you have a question? Uh, no. Okay. So let me just make this in uh, uh, homework so you guys can write code. Um, still remember, uh, we learned the two algorithms today. Jump is trying to find the optimal uh, block or interval. That's the square root of n. Okay, the square root of n. So you see pretty much the first step will jump a lot. And then also then the second the interpolation, you need to remember that formula. You need to calculate, calculate the position. You, you use the, the like minimum value maximum value and the minimum uh, index and the maximum index you get that involved you can calculate the position for you to do the interpolation that will reduce the steps but it, it has an assumption that means the value is evenly distributed okay that's what i have and hopefully you remember those and uh, go back to do this homework uh, you're free to go now.